Welcome back. This video, we're going to talk about the do while loop. It's a follow up of the previous video where we talked about the main pieces of a loop. Now we're just going to talk about a variation. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So the do while loop is like the compulsive does something before thinking version of the while loop. So let's write it out. I'm going to keep this code. We're going to write it up, top, up top here and it's going to look like this. We're going to say do and then we're going to put the, the body and then we'll say while put the parentheses and then a semicolon. So that is the structure for the loop. And then we can space it out, put some stuff inside of this body here. So why did I say this is compulsive? Well, basically it's going to do something and then it's going to check the condition to see if it should continue to do that thing. So it's kind of like it does something and it's like, oh crap, maybe I shouldn't do this anymore. <laughs> So as long as that condition is true, it'll continue to execute that code. So we can create stuff similar to the while loop, but this is the perfect loop if you want something to execute always at least once. So for example, if you're displaying a menu or asking someone for a password, you're always going to want to do those things one time. And then if something goes wrong or if they type their password in wrong or they want to show the menu again, then that while condition can be true and it'll execute again. So let's see this version of this loop right here. So the first thing we're going to initialize I and I'll comment this out so it doesn't interfere. What are we going to do? We're going to write line and we'll just put the value of I and then we'll say I plus plus while I is less than 10. So that is the structure. Let's run it. Go down here, .NET run. and we get the same exact output zero to nine. So it's the same loop, it just puts things in different spots. So you can see the comparison is down here. So what is unique about the do while loop? Well, let's say as long as I is less than zero. Well, in this situation, I starts at zero, so this is never going to evaluate to true. But when we run this thing, you can see that it will output at least one time. You can see we get that zero there. Even if this can never be true, if we just literally put false in here, we're still going to get that value. And you can see right there. So that is the do while loop. The third variation of loop that you should know about is the for loop. And this one is actually my personal favorite. So I'm excited for the next video. So go check it out and definitely don't forget to subscribe.